Good morning on this beautiful day. Absolutely beautiful. Right, we'll have a job I want you youngsters to, to learn from. And we're just coming in. What we've got is a problem here. Can you see this movement? The joints fouled and come right down there. And the client's worried about this pier topping over because she's all live now. Now, first of all, we have to find out the problem, the root of the problem and straight away because obviously the heritage work I do, remember that I restore buildings and walls 200, 250 years old, some back to 1700, 1750. So straight away I know something on this is either a material error, default, or a technical error. So what we mean by technical is a craftsman error. Now, I'm telling you now, it's not a material error. It's a castle now, straight away when I pulled up. I know the age of these asses, they're probably 20, 30 years old. Now, let me show you the technical error. So what I'm seeing there is in, in the brick lane game is I'm seeing so much aesthetically good, but technically wrong. So I'm seeing so much wrong, the wrong has become right. And then I'm a victim of this. When I put something which is aesthetically and technically right, I'll get called out and told it's wrong. <laughs> so it's pretty much how the world's going at the moment anyway. So let me tell you what's happened here. So the scallop, you never start a scallop on the half. That scallop should have been down sitting on the stretcher. So it's half bonded in because the gated entrance is just giving vibration to that point there. So this, scallop, this point here should have been either down there or set up higher, one course higher. Now what they've not done is gate this out from the bottom. They should have worked it brickwork so it meets. So theoretically what you've got now is a straight joint over one, two, three. On the gated entrance, the vibration, it's not enough. So boom, 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 she's moving. So again, what I'm saying is this should have been dropped down and started always on the stretcher. It's never started on the half, gentlemen. So being the wall as a whole, look, it's a big wall. Tends to what happen is traffic driving by its side on the road, as soon as it hits it, it vibrates, the perps take and we push and we push and the weight is spread through the perp. Push right down the wall. So if we investigate here, minimal damage. Now I'm predicting minimal damage throughout the wall, but the more damage will be at the end on the corner because that's the next weak point. So let's have a look. As I expected straight away. And you see there, signs of someone's tried to have a go. So now the pressure's hit this corner, reflect, deflected this way, and now it's fouled in the joints. And as you can see, straight again. Started on the wrong, started on the half. Started on the half, should have started on the stretcher. So technically, it's a, it's a brick laying error. Should have started from the up, gazed it out, measured up, so the scallop started on the stretcher. So, evidently, that's the problem now. And the problem the client's got is the repair. He's got one or two options either take the scallops down and increase another course, which he's got the height of fear because he's below boundary height of fear, so you could probably get away with that. Check into the local planning. Um, or reduce it another course which then the bottom of the scallop would reduce even more so that bricklayer technical area theoretically could cost thousands the only way around this is to do a repair is to drop the height of that drop it down one so she's only straight joint over two possibly stroke three you know relay them but again i'll explain to the client it's a temporary fix so as I just said, these brick that I'm seeing, gentlemen, you are building someone's home. You are not putting an idiot stick up under your pound an hour. No, look at me, look at me, because you're telling lies, right? You're not sustainable, you're not competent enough to be on someone's home in my in my own words and my professional opinion. You are building someone's home, so knowledge is power. Preserve your tradition. Preserve your heritage, man. Invest in yourselves. Learn your technical ability. Everything you do. So when you go out, you do the job, you do a good job. Gentlemen, hope this helps. Here we go. God bless you. God bless me. God bless my motherland.